Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on ARWIN data model tool. In today's tutorial we are going to see how to create indexes in the data model. Before going to jump directly into the data model indexing part, let's understand some key concept. We know, we know that there are two types of data model. First is logical data model and second is physical data model. The terms such as key group, primary key, alternative key, inversion entry. So these are the indexing related properties available in the logical data model. On the counterpart for that in the physical data model we have the index, primary key, unique index and non-unique index. For example for key group we have the key group in the logical data model, we have the counterpart as an index in the physical data model. Primary key is uh, both in the logical as well as in the physical data model. Alternative key in the logical data model is called as a unique index in the physical data model. Non-unique index in the physical data model is nothing but the inversion entry in the logical data model. So as I mentioned the key group it is nothing but the index. So if you are going to create index and if you create key group in the logical data model, it is reflected as an index in the physical data model. And same will be applicable for the other components. So let's start to create index in the logical data model and we will see how it is reflected in the physical data model. So I have just opened the ERWIN tool. Go to the new file and new or you can just click in the new button. I am selecting logical as well as physical data model. Click OK. This will open me a new page. Here I will create one model. I am giving the name as party. I will create index for that. Uh, sorry, primary key. So primary key is both in the logical as well as in physical model and this is a logical data model. I'm creating first name, last name, then you can add the age, date of birth or any other field. I will add one uh, one of the unique identifier that is driver's license that is also called as ZL. If you want address related fields we can add that such as ADD address line 1, city etc we can add the zip also. So these are the fields available in my model. So if you see here and uh, these are the basic attributes let's have a look on these elements. If you want to see just right click you will see entity properties, attribute properties, key groups. So as I mentioned in the logical model if you say it's a key group properties that is nothing but the index in the physical data model. So I will click on the key group properties and here I can see there is one index got created for the picky object and in the picky it is if you want to see what this what is this index name is index name is x which is normally appended in this format then the picky and the name of table that is party so x pk party and what are the column contributing to that if you see here the party id which is the primary key here now let's create one more key <coughs> So in order to create one more key, alternative key is there and inversion entry is there. Alternative key, if you see the diagram, alternative key is nothing but the unique index in the physical database model. Inversion entry is nothing but the non-unique index. So we are going to create both these attributes. So let's go to the model. I'm going to create, in order to create, just click on the new alternative key. And here I will see DL as a attribute for that. This is alternative key. X alternative key 1 party. If you want a multiple alternative key you can add that there is no restriction but I will add one inversion entry and inversion entry I will add for the date of birth. So there is not necessary we have to choose any particular columns because it's a non-unique uh, you can use any of the column. If there are a particular column like social security number or the passport number etc you can add as a unique key. It's like business unique column we can say. 
so these are the attributes we can see but the naming, naming conventions like x i.e. for uh, uh, inversion entry one part party you can add any number of these attributes and if you say at the same time the pk source is unique and the alternative key also unique key okay so these are the attributes i will add and we will see how it is reflected in the physical database model okay i will close it now just for the verification i will go and see the key group so these are the indexes so there are actually three indexes x p k party x a k 1 party x i e 1 party so these are the indexes got created whenever we configure these details i will change my data model from logical to physical okay of course there are some other attributes also got additionally added in this if you see the subject area explorer or the model explorer now here when you click on this uh, database entity you can see the other properties such as table property column properties index property etc so we have the key group property in the logical data model and in the physical we have the index property just click on the index property and you can see the corresponding keys are also get uh, uh, indexes are also get created now suppose if you want to add index on the address line one because what is the need of index index is just used to uh, achieve the better performance not only for the searches but also for the update cases so i will create one more index for the address line one in order to create index you can have this new button i'll create unique index if you want to know what will be the name of that index in the logical database model you have to just compare this for the unique index it is alternative key okay so i will key here i will create one unique index the the index name is x a k that is alternative key to party and the column i will choose is date of birth so that will become a unique index so that means date of birth will be unique so these are the things uh, you can configure now so i added one more alternative key i will close it i will change my physical to logical and i will check the key group properties now i can see the ak2 part is also got created and the column selected is date of birth the other properties like if you want to you know, sort this atom you can sort this based on the key or based on the various criteria if you want to delete any particular key yes that feature is also available if you want to have some help if you need some help this is the help button is also available so if you, sh if you want to show the foreign key you can see the foreign key groups also you can select n number of columns from the uh, column sections from the member section we have the definitions we also have, have the where it is used UDP nodes extended nodes so these are the things available with this properties also which is like basic properties for the any entity so I will close it and these are the nothing but the indexes but if you see particular index okay let me what I'll do I will change it to the physical at the left hand side I will see many of these properties available okay now I would like to show one interesting thing if you see this indexes the name is like little clumsy or it is not meaningful if you want to add some meaningful name how can we achieve that so that is a big question or it is like the customization so we are going to see how to do this customization in upcoming video i hope this tutorial is going to help you to how to create the indexes in your data model if you have any questions or queries you can mention comment section of this video below thank you for my watching video and have a nice time